Welcome everyone to tapinfo.com. This is Ritesh and today we are going to discuss about one interesting topic that is level of detailed expressions. Uh, before moving further, uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get regular updates of Tableau Server and Tableau Desktop as well. Let's move on to LOD. So before uh, discussing about different level of detail expressions, uh, let me tell you that we are going to work upon two different types of data sources. One will be a HA data source where you can see statistics of different pairs with respect to different continent and countries uh, along with their count of 100 in one day and test matches both. And at the same time, we'll make use of sample super store as well to understand fixed include and exclude. So let us start with the uh, row level expressions and view level expressions. So one of the example of uh, row level expression is sales divided by profit. That means you are uh, acting at a row level. So let me show you uh, what I'm trying to tell. So when I say row level, this is the expression that I'm talking about. You can just drag it and at the same time you can have aggregate level as well. And what is there inside the aggregate level? This is sum of sales divided by sum of profit. So this is an aggregate level or aggregate example of an aggregate calculation. Now also notice one thing that whenever you will try to agree to uh, drag aggregate measure, aggregate function to rows or columns, uh, by default you can see A, B, C at the start. Right? So it, it, it is not coming here, it is here it is coming as sum. So this is not an aggregate function. So expression referencing aggregated data source columns are computed at dimensionally defined by the dimensions. So if I do if I drag order data over there, so definitely it, it is defined by the order date year. So for different year, again you see aggregated data but with respect to different year. Now coming to the next slide, dimension and set fields placed on any of the location highlighted in the following image contribute to the view of the data. So uh, let me now remove the row level. So we already know about row level. But what it is trying to tell you here is that these are the different marks where which will control the level of detail, view level of detail. Uh, that makes sense, right? Because already I have dragged to columns and rows and it shows that it is defining and maybe I can do some more manipulation over there. For example, I am dragged, I have dragged region to color. So you can see the, uh, the view level of detail has changed. So these are the different fields which will determine the view level of detail. Okay. Now let us start with the fixed. Fixed level of detail expression compute values using the specified dimension without reference to the view level of detail. That is without reference to any other dimension of the view. Uh, so we can see here with the, let's start with the uh, cricket data, fixed country. So here we have different continents, player names, aggregate runs. Now we want to have uh, another expression over there, which will, uh, which should show the runs being scored by the country, not by the pair. So what we'll do is we'll fix country, fix country. 
sum of runs. And just drag it to rows and here you can see, you can see the sum of runs being scored by Hashim Amla and Jack Kalis because they are from the same country, South Africa. Here you can see the difference within Asia you have Sri, uh, two players from Sri Lanka, two players from India, so you can see the aggregate. This 51,000 is the aggregation between aggregate runs uh, between Kumar Sangagara and Mahila Javadana, and 58,524 is the aggregate run between Rahul Dravid and Sachin Dhanushka. You can see. So, this is an ex example of fixed. Now, coming to the uh, your favorite sample superstore. Here we have a valuable example actually. So here you can see a usual example where you have year versus sum of profit. Now I want to have one fixed ex expression. Now uh, see the fixed expression. Fixed customer name to minimum order date. So that means that it, it is fixing customer uh, with respect to the minimum order date or you can also say first time when the customer has ordered. So when I drag this to color, it is very useful because it shows that, okay, it, it makes sense when you have only one color for the year 2014 because at that time, uh, you have the customer who ordered around 2014, you know, in that very particular year. So it makes sense. So when you move towards the right hand side, these are the customers which already ordered uh, uh, during 2014 now and these this orange color shows the new customers being added similarly red 2016 and the last one you can see so it gives us good analysis that for the year 2014 we have minimum numbers number of customers being added so this is an example of fixed with respect to sample superstore, now coming back to include and coming back to cricket data. Now, here I want to, I have coined it, I have runs, uh, that's fine. I want to include the individuals and I want to know the average runs being, being scored within that continent. So what I'll do, I'll say, okay, but before that, let us read the definition, right? Include level of detail expressions, compute values using the specified dimensions in addition to whatever dimensions are in the view. So in I have dimension continent and runs and I'm talking about a dimension which is not there. So I want to include that uh, dimension to my view. So that's why I include. So I want to include uh, my players and I want to know the average, the runs being scored by each player within uh, any continent. So my expression is include name sum of runs. So I, I have included name. So initially it would look like, okay, what's the difference? Hold on. I have included all the players, but then if I do some of the individual runs being scored, it will come same only, right? So that's why you see the same number over there. But it makes sense only when I turn that to average. We know that there are two players of Africa continent, Hashim Amla and Jack Kale. So you can see if you divide this by two, you'll get this. In Asia, you see there are four players, Rahul Devin, Sachin, Kumar, Sangara, Mahila, Javadana. So if you divide this by four, you get this. Australia, you have, uh, I think there are two batsmen from Australia. No, we have only one batsman from Australia who is Ricky Pointing. But then you have uh, both the runs aggregate, right? You have, uh, uh, yeah, that's why it, it, it is divided by one and you get you get the same number, 27,082. You have only one player from Australia and one from South America. Mr. Brown Lawrence. So again, 
divided by 1, so you get the same number. That's fine. Now, coming to the sample superstore now, this is pretty similar. That means, so here, um, what's the sum of profit? And I am including customer name over there. Similar. And I drag it to those. And after that, I now here, same thing. I'm getting same value. So it makes sense when I change that to average. And now it is making sense. Last but not the least, exclude. And let us read about exclude. Exclude level of detail expressions explicitly remove dimensions from the expression. That is, they subtract dimension from the view level of detail. Exclude level of detail expressions are most useful for eliminating a dimension in the view. So this is, if you see, this is just reverse of include. It is saying that I want, I have something over there, one dimension. I want to have my view as if that dimension was not there at view level. And you will understand it more when I do it practically. So, for example, here I have uh, player names, continents, a match type, and the count of centuries. I want to include, or <laughs> oh, sorry, or I want to have one expression which can show the sum of centuries. The, the target is to get such in hundred hundred. So, how do I get that? So, for example, in include, I was telling you that imagine that you are including something outside uh, from your view. So here you imagine that you are excluding a, a an expression or say field from your view, and after that, you want to get some other view by doing that. Confused? Don't get confused. For example. I wish that this match type was not there because this is dividing and this is something which is avoiding to get the full 100 over there, right? This is dividing. If I remove one day or test uh, the match type, then uh, this will add up to 100 for any of the team. Yes. So I wish it was not there. So your wish will be <laughs> fulfilled with the exclude. So because I want to keep that also, right? So that is the problem. I want to have my match type with me. So exclude match type sum of count of 100. That's it. And I'll just drag it to text. And I can see I have maintained that as well. And I have got this as well. So, you know, if you imagine like this, it is easier to understand. So I think, uh, we have to do exclude for the sample superstore as well. Right? I was about to stop it actually. So for that, let me show you. Okay, just uh, this is a general view. You have region, sum of sales. I, I hope you, you will be able to do that. But now you see, I have dragged sum of sales to color and it is showing me this color. That means that uh, the most profitable bar and the least profitable bar may be somewhere there so i don't want this because this has been divided with respect to different regions as well right so the level of detail is like region and monthly quarter data right so i want to exclude that very particular region from my view and after that i want to drag that to color right then it will be different. Then it should show me that the November 2017 is the best month in terms of profit. Now it is not showing me that like that. It is showing me that East and November, combination of East and November. But I want to exclude that a region factor. So let me do it like that. I say exclude region, then some of sales, and let me drag this to color. Now you can see this very particular. So this is the best month for me. I don't want to include the region over here and that's why I have excluded that. And now it shows me the way I really want it to. 
So I think I'm done. Again, I would like uh, to remind you that you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? And uh, we'll see you again. Till then, let's sign off from Ritesh. Bye-bye.